grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I salute Morton Hunter, born February 5th, 1825. He studied law at Indiana University and in 1858 was elected to the State House. He cast an electoral vote for Abraham Lincoln. During the Civil War, a Republican governor placed him in command of the 82nd of Indiana Volunteers. Colonel Hunter's regiment helped win the Battle of Chickamauga. His troops later charged up Missionary Ridge and led Sherman's March. In 1866, Hunter won first of four terms in the U.S. House of Representatives. Receiving his support with the 14th Amendment, the Anti-Ku Klux Klan Act, Yellowstone National Park, and the 1875 Civil Rights Act. Poor health forced withdrawal of his candidacy for the Republican gubernatorial nomination. In retirement, he managed a limestone quarry. Quote, Few men have stood higher in Indiana and are more deserving of a place among the great and true men of the state. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.